Welcome to uh, Informed Investing. My name is Don Lawrence. I am the CEO of ST Research and our platform StockTargetAdvisor.com. I am a financial analyst and a trader and today and every day we bring you the top analyst ratings and we dissect them and uh, talk about their validity and uh, our perspective on uh, the ratings and, um, and obviously our perspective on the stock that's being rated. Today we start off with Air Canada. Um, uh, everyone in Canada and obviously in other countries uh, in the US and Europe you might not know but uh, Toronto Pearson uh, Airport is a mess uh, it's probably one of the worst airports just now completely uh, backlogged um, and obviously uh, you, you, very problematic for flights and, and the volume of flights so Air Canada has decided to cut uh, I believe it's at least 70 uh, flights per day Obviously, I think that's going to uh, affect them significantly. Um, they've sort of been coerced to do it, uh, sort of, it sounds like, from the uh, government. So maybe the government's funding them. It's that not been disclosed as of yet. However, um, that, that is a bit of a concern, how that is going to impact uh, impact the uh, the company's uh, top-line revenue and obviously their balance sheet. Um, so National Bank Financial, um, saying that, has just cut the target to 31, uh, sorry, to 30 from th 31, and uh, they're maintaining the outperform rating on the stock. Um, stock is trading around 16.60 odd, um, and I think this is just <laughs> uh, a bit absurd uh, to think that uh, that stock should be around uh, thirty uh, dollars. I mean, you know, you, you, th these forecasts are for twelve months, so you know, thing things could change um, within that period of time. But uh, I, I think the maximum the stock could be is twenty dollars. Um, looking on the charts there, so I think uh, National Bank is uh, um, drinking some special Kool Aid there. It's just they, they seem way off the mark on on that valuation um, at the moment. They're considering the uh, circumstances around. Uh, uh, airports and uh, travel volume and as such. Um, on to uh, AMC, one of the uh, um, short squeeze um, meme stock uh, last year, meme stocks last, uh, from last year. Uh, we've got Citigroup maintaining the sell rating, uh, cutting the target to five from six. Um, I, I, I think uh, this stock is, is undervalued here. Um, you know, obviously, yeah, this is exactly what these these analysts do um you know they, they uh, you know we knew that they were going to drive this uh, stock down the uh institutions would get on it short it more and drive the stock down eventually and that's exactly what they've done um obviously mc's come back uh quite considerably um fr from its high so i i think uh i think it's under value here i think there's still a lot of retailers that are interested in the stock i think another squeeze is definitely possible obviously not to the magnitude that we saw last time but uh you know, I mean, it could pop to, to $15, uh, $20, who, who knows. Um, but, uh, you know, it's definitely looking uh, interesting, um, you know, at this point. And again, taking that contrarian um, uh, side of things when everyone else is, is getting bearish, you know, uh, we like to get bullish so uh, or, or positive on it. So it's definitely uh, definitely getting interesting, guys. Um, on to Elastic, a very good company. Um, Ken Accord uh, Junity is uh, starting with a buy rating and a hundred dollar target. Um, I, I think it's an undervalued uh, stock. Um, you know, I think it's got a good upside here, especially long term um, on that. So, uh, yeah, so, sort of uh, agree with Ken Accord there. Um, on to Twitter, Evercore ISI is maintaining their inline rating and they're cutting the target to 54.90 on the uh, stock from. From 60 so obviously uh, they're taking the consideration you know the um, sort of volatility around uh, the, the deal with uh, Musk um, you know I would say the deals looking ropey in my perspective I don't think the deals going through I think Elon Musk is sharp I think there's too much weakness in the markets there's too much um, you know uh, uh, there's too much toxicity going on around this whole deal and, and inside Twitter and um, you know, uh, so I think I think Elon's uh, going to bail on this. So if that's the case, this stock's going under 30. So uh, I'd be very cautious here. 
um, you know, on the stock. Uh, it's actually probably a great stock to do a straddle on, uh, to be quite honest, because um, it could move drastically uh, either way, depending on it. But I, I would probably uh, sort of um, tilt to the downside on this one. All right, uh, we're off to United Airlines. We got uh, BNP uh, Paribas uh, downgrading the stocks underperform from neutral, and we got Argus uh, Research downgrading the stock to hold uh, from buy. And as I said before, uh, you know, uh, travel stocks, um, like Air Canada, we talked about uh, just concerning over volume, airport chaos, and all the different uh sort of ambiguity around covid protocols and stuff so it's still uh and same with the cruise lines still a little dodgy to be in that that area um you know maybe for the long term if you're looking really long might be uh interesting um you know to to take a bit of a speculative play on it but i would say uh you know uh, exactly what these analysts are saying you know sit on the sidelines uh with these uh with these uh, airlines and and uh and other travel stocks last but not least we got good old blackberry morning star is downgraded a hold from buy but they are maintaining their nine dollars and ten cent canadian target on the stock um you know i think blackberry is just suffering from uh just just from from poor poor sentiment you know they they uh they really took a whack um back uh 10 years ago um uh, or so when uh, when they closed down their handset unit or starting to um, you know obviously uh, past their peak and and I think that's sort of lingering on I think people still aren't able to see the company as, as a software company and and sort of the positive benefits um, that that entails and um, just recently we saw that uh, 200 million cars uh, around the world are, are um, carrying the uh, QNX uh, software um, so they, they do have a, a strong um, sort of position there and I think you know it'll keep keep growing so I think long long term I, I definitely think uh, Blackberry is goodbye but it's still it's just suffering from from uh, you know uh, from a sentiment uh, sentiment lapse there um, and as always uh, just a general statement mining stocks uh, are getting downgraded again <clears throat> across the board um, so just weakness in that uh, sort of bear cycle um the market is still sort of looking a bit buoyant and, and bouncing up there so um they're, they're the the mining stocks uh you know did take a bit of a jump today but the analysts are are, uh, are downgrading the um you know those stocks continuously um you know as they as they're seeing this continued uh, bear cycle in those uh, min miners anyways guys uh thanks again for checking us out and uh if you want uh, more analyst ratings, uh, please go to our platform, StockTargetAdvisor.com. And uh, also there, you can sign up for our premium service and get uh, um, analyst uh, ratings delivered to your inbox uh, uh, twice a day, pre-market and midday. We do have the best uh, analyst coverage right around the world. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free always to uh, email us at uh, admin uh, at StockTargetAdvisor.com and uh, we'll... Uh, We'll get back to you uh, as soon as we can. And uh, anyways, guys, have yourself uh, a really uh, great rest of the day. And we will see you uh, hopefully tomorrow. And remember, guys, the best trade is always a hedge. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.